psychologically speaking there are six psychological needs that every man craves for one is the need for security men will do anything to find security and if you are a leader that can give them a template and a vision of security spiritual security financial security anything that gives them security what is security the ability to minimize or if possible drive their fears and their confusions security number two variety people like newness mass communication thrives on this when you are watching a football match even though you know it will remain on the internet there forever you still want to be live and you can pay to be live breaking news breaks because it is new am i right on that nobody visits last week news with the kind of passion they have for today's news now everybody wants to know what is happening between israel and hamas and all of that you see now variety it is the reason why god gave man creativity so that you can bring various forms of delivering the same result is the reason why you can see a toyota car among your car collections then you go and buy lexus even by the same company then you go and buy mercedes you buy they are all cars after all they all move you so why the passion for that variety how come you have a black cloth a white one then you have a green one and you still plan to buy a red one maybe after this conference and you will you will not agree that it is lost you call it variety is that true so all men crave for variety number three all men crave for significance this is particularly unique with the male gender significance why will i quarrel you when you call me brother joshua selman why do i get angry i say my friend don't call me brother is brother an insult brother is not an arm robber so why am i angry that you said brother jo <laughs> to know that you matter to know that you count don't downplay people's sense of significance when i came in i saw and thanks to reverend edwin and the entire leadership the warmth and the love right from the airport the hospitality and all that i've received since i came here very phenomenal and for this i am grateful but it's significance <laughs> hallelujah can i tell you people do not care what you know until they know that you care they don't care what revelation what greek and hebrew by the time you make people feel stupid and you make them feel less of themselves they will love you but you will never earn their loyalty is someone growing today significance so we need to be careful and manage the way we speak to people and the way we generally operate with people knowing that the moment people feel insignificant around you there is a negative energy that comes from you to them there's a pungency that comes from you to them they will run away every time they see you and they will never support anything you are part of are we learning number four love and acceptance the fourth psychological need of every body including you who is writing is love and acceptance the very reason people join occultic societies you interview many people who join occultic societies they will tell you daddy did not believe in me mommy did not believe in me is the reason why sadly we are losing our young ladies and even the gentlemen to all kinds of ungodly systems because the love and acceptance did you know that the worst thing that can happen to any man is called rejection rejection is to be given a perception that you are not needed within a space it's a terrible thing hallelujah yeah it's a terrible thing rejection is so is so serious that the bible gives you a counsel that when you get to a place sit at the back first just sit at the back there to save yourself shame if you are worthy of honor they will usher you to the front but if you come and sit at the front and they now transport you gently to the back it will be a memory you will have for a long time rejection is a terrible thing many children today grow with all kinds of things they, they hate people and they hurt others because they grew up with this rejection that they got from parents. Sadly, some of those parents were also preachers. Saving the world but destroying their own home. So you call your child a stupid, useless boy, very ugly girl. I don't think any man will marry you. You are such a stupid person. You are taking the, the least position in class and then they are absorbing these things. Absorbing these things 
absorbing these things by the time they become teenagers any gentleman who says wow you mean there's such a lady in this world and have i been blind you know how men talk the lady knows that this boy is going to destroy her but she cannot resist him because he's the only voice that ministers love and acceptance hallelujah are we learning number what now number five growth the fifth psychological need of everybody is the need for growth what does it mean to grow to become to evolve superior versions of yourself mother when you give birth to a baby it will be unfair to expect that baby to begin to walk and talk after two months that would be a miracle i think am i right on that but after a year or two perhaps three years and the child is not walking not talking not coordinating himself you become disturbed because we expect growth even the baby expects growth when you plant anything corn or yam millet whatever it is you give it time but with time you want to see evidences of growth am i right on that so human beings crave for growth that's why when we write exams and the results come out when we pass we rejoice because it means growth more than success it means growth six impact and contribution the sixth and final psychological need of all men is the need to be perceived as one who is impactful and one whose life is counting hallelujah praise the name of the lord sir i understand this is you and your wife please come let's celebrate them keep clapping honor them come on house on the rock please come sir I won't embarrass you. I won't. Please stand. Keep clapping. I didn't ask you to stop. You just keep clapping. Don't stop. Do what I'm asking you to do. Don't stop. Hallelujah. Now, watch this. Do you know what you just did to them? You kept clapping. They have a right to interpret your clap to be anything. For some, your clap means you are important. For some, your clap means look how beautiful your family is. For some, your clap means that as you performed your role as husband and wife here in the capacity of ministers, you did an excellent job. For some, it just means you are dressing well. You leave them, it is their creativity that defines the meaning of your clap. But in any sense, you have won their love for you by giving them a sense of value. I brought them out to define for you the highest psychological need of any man. That the highest psychological need of any man is the need to feel loved, to feel appreciated, and to feel important. This is what was communicated in your club. Now, can I tell you, now that I am the midwife to make this happen, talk against me and see how they will respond. Are we together yes for making them feel good i just asked them to come out so that you will learn a miracle happens ladies and gentlemen when you make people feel that they count in a home in an organization you have five children you make one feel like a champion and the remaining feel like failures is the negative of what is happening right now that you're doing every time i gather with my leaders they celebrate me for what you know God is doing and I tell them ladies and gentlemen we are here as a team I only succeed because of the coordinated effort of everyone and I want you to know that you count you matter are we together now and you do that they will usually act like nothing is happening but a miracle is happening right there hallelujah before I came up Reverend Edwin introduced me and he said wonderful things and you all clapped and I was happy. Me, I don't hide it. I will smile and say I'm grateful. Are we together now? So you ask me to come back again, I will most likely come back. Why? Because I love Jesus but number two, when you help people see that they matter, they will love you. You become Beulah and Hephzibah in a moment. Hallelujah. So if I tell Madam now and Pastor, I said, look, um, what, what what's your meal in this city okay you are right whatever you said you are right <laughs> praise god are we together now if i'm coming to their house and i say madam 
I'm coming to eat. The memory of how I made her feel. Now you imagine that I reverse it now. I insult this woman, insult her husband, tear them down, make them feel like they are not counting in house on the rock. And I say, I'm coming to their house. Number one, I will sit outside. My chair will be waiting for me before I arrive. You know, there are people whose chair, you just put it under a tree there and the water they will drink is right there. Thank you. Let's honor him again. And the wife. Hallelujah. There are people today whose children are not proud of because every time they are around you, you are going to look for something wrong. Why is this shirt not iron? They came to say good afternoon and you must find something wrong learn to let people know that they count and this is especially true for spiritual people because they are focused on the prayer the anointing and the people do their best they fix up the place for prayer and you don't see it we are focusing on jesus they don't see it your wife dresses she gives her best it's true you are going for a prayer meeting but take out time to see mm -mm. and women you too the man too does his best at least the best he knows to do it may not be your best but the best and then you are not seeing it last week the battery of his watch died this week he had fixed it you didn't see the difference <laughs> are we together can i tell you the truth there is always tension when someone's worth is downplayed in many everywhere you find tension in an organization it is because someone is intentionally downplaying another person that is why in complimenting people psychologically leaders if you want to lift someone and compliment the person uniquely start by sharing a general compliment first so that everybody can serve the one you gave then they will now join you to uniquely appreciate that one person over celebrating one person in the presence of people is dangerous no matter how effective I know that you have one child who is always taking first position while the rest share the rest. Be careful. Are we together now? Don't over celebrate that one and say, this is daddy's boy. Give me five. The remaining are what now? And you see, you are doing something to them. 